He saw treasure, he saw other jewels, yeah, and fruits and gardens and everything. He did not feel the desire for them. But when he saw this big diamond, as big as a watermelon, I wonder how big is that? <laughs> Some watermelon <laughs> are about this big, you know? Yeah. Some are about this big. Yeah. yeah. Like half of my arm lens and thick like that. Yeah. I saw them, yes. Mm -hmm. And then mostly people cannot buy them all. They have to slice it and give to you some part. Except the maybe big company or big uh, restaurant, they, they buy them, you know, then they can distribute. But for one family, if you buy this big uh, watermelon, it will last forever and it might go, <laughs> go bad, yeah? Yes. yes. You don't want to eat watermelon every day, that is the thing. Because <laughs> we have choice, we are spoiled. We are spoiled with choice, that's why. Mm. Not like uh, one of uh, the story in Vietnam. You remember I told the story of Vietnam, one of the adopted, the prince of Vietnam before? The king kicked him out. Yes, yes master. And then uh, exiled him to a wide island. And over there he found these watermelons. And then they survived on that. They even sold it <laughs> afterward. He drove a map on the watermelon and the boat people found them, went there and then made business together with watermelon to exchange for all the necessity. Then he lived fabulously mm. because he believed in God. Uh, the king thinking that, oh, he has to be uh, faithful to him, uh, grateful to him because, because the king gave him everything, even adopted him as a prince. But uh, he said, no, God gave it to me, <laughs> which is true. Yeah, because we have to realize that we came with nothing. Even the king also came naked, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So every day, even if I give uh, things to eat for the birds or for the squirrels and all that, I said to them, you thank God before you eat, okay? God gave it to you. God gave it to you. Sometimes I forget, I say, I gave it to you there, go eat. But I said, that's from God. <laughs> you must thank God before you eat. I never thought it's from me, even if I say that. Hmm. Same with all the charity or even the lecture I'm giving. In my heart, I always know it's from God. And it is true, because after I talk to you, I hardly remember anything. <laughs> Whenever I have to kind of uh, edit the BMD that you give to me, yeah, to ask me whether or not it's okay. Yeah, any mistake or anything. Yeah. And then I read it or I look at it, I saw it. Oh, it's like brand new to me. You know? <laughs> like I heard it the first time. Of course, I remember one bit here and a bit there. When, when something evokes my memory, I remember. I, but I don't remember the whole thing. Just one or two uh, part of it. If I'm made to remember. <laughs> If you let me see all the lecture I made long, long time ago, yeah, like ten years, five years back, back then when I was a beginner, <laughs> I don't remember a thing. Yeah. And if you give it to me to edit or to check, recheck, I sit there with big eyes, <laughs> white ears, fascinated. <laughs> yeah. I was mesmerized. Wow! Wow! That was really cool. <laughs> really nice, really, really wise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Not because I said it, because I forgot it all completely. Yeah. And I had a chance to look back at it. Oh my God, I forgot everything. And I just sat there, just, just like I never saw it before. Mm. I sat like, oh! <gasps> Oh. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> then I understood, you know, at that time, I understood why the so-called disciples loved them so much, because it's truly logical, yeah, truly real, truly truthful, and there's nothing you can debate about it. There's nothing that is n not to like, okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Right, so now we go back to Eden, yeah? Mm. Or oh, outside Eden. We are out already, kicked out already. <laughs> Thanks to our forefather Adam. So God made many Adams, eh? We thought only one. And they all made the same mistake. Huh. And the man saw. 
unclever, huh? <laughs> My goodness. And why God did such a lousy job? Huh? <laughs> yeah, again and again and again he made the same mistake. So I think we can blame God also. Sorry, sir, you have to improve. <laughs> I improve your product. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you can blame women and men. They, you know, struggle to live with each other and quarrel and having heartache, having trouble quarreling all the time and having broken marriage and all that stuff. Yeah? Because God did not make us perfect. Ah, or maybe God made us perfect. We cannot blame God, it's just us. We are not strong enough to withstand any temptation. But how can you withstand the temptation in heaven? Huh? Uh, that even here on earth, we are tempted many ways already, right? We cannot even stop our desires of one thing after another. But in heaven, the things there are much, much, much more glorious, much more glamorous, much more tempting, much more beautiful. So how can Adam not not fall? You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Mm. Maybe God knew it. Maybe God wanted him to fall. So that they go out of Eden and spread all over, you know, multiply into children and great-great-grandchildren and then uh, fertilize the whole planet, make more apples. <laughs> Thanks to Adam that now we have apples to eat, no? <laughs> Probably he know how to plant apples, okay? <laughs> From Eden, yeah? Probably he took one, one or two seeds. Maybe before God uh, kicked him out, God gave him many seeds, yeah, to cultivate all over the planet. That's how we have so many things nowadays. Yes, isn't that isn't that a miracle? Hmm? You don't even know where you came from. You were born, you grow up, and there we have apples already. Yeah. <laughs> we have watermelons. We have apricots. We have uh, you know grapes. Fruits. We have uh, grapes. We have ah uh, jackfruit. We have durian. We have oh my god, huh? Mm. All kind of things, yeah. All kind of fruit. All kind of beautiful vegetables, and beautiful trees which give fruit, give shade, and give oxygen. Yes. Isn't that a wonderful planet, huh? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Isn't it, huh? Yeah. Yes. yes. We take it all for granted, but we should realize that really we have everything we need, except we have to share with others so that there is no poverty, no hunger in this world. We have to stop polluting our planet so that the weather doesn't become haywire. There are many other things happen because of that, because of climate. Uh, Craziness. Now, many places don't even have water to drink. <sighs> many places on the planet don't have enough water to drink because we populate it, populate it more and more people all the time. And then the climate is not favorable for more people. Nowadays, we have pandemics, it makes things worse. Many people cannot work like uh, fruit and vegetable a shortage and the price has gone very high. It is truly like that. Because my company, if it doesn't affect you, you will not... Uh, because um, uh, my company, for example, one of the vegan food making companies, they report to me, say nowadays many of uh, the materials are very high priced and even shortage. Like they cannot export this and that because not everything uh, they make it from the native land. They imported some things, but it's very difficult. Many things have shortage or take long, long time to arrive. Yeah, everybody has trouble nowadays like that. Uh, but this is our company. We work inside the company. It's not all that bad already. Imagine restaurants, yes, or bars, coffee shops. They have to serve people directly. 
and they cannot, because the you know the government closed many small businesses, except the essential, like maybe supermarkets are open, but many others cannot open, and they are short of people who do the farm work, you know, even picking vegetables, mm-hmm. uh, picking fruits. There are shortage everywhere. The other day, I looked outside in the garden where I live. I, I saw one mango tree in front of me, but it has no fruit, no flower, nothing. In other places also like that, only a couple of fruit, because, and then I realized I don't see any bee anywhere. Wow. Because they don't pollinate, that's why the tree doesn't bear fruit. Yes. And then suddenly I saw, oh my God, there's no bees around here even. And the next day, the couple of bees came. <laughs> <laughs> came, and I want to drink water. So I put a, a, like a, a basin outside for them. Mm. But they like to go into the sink because that water is too deep. So I put some sponge, you know? Mm. They're more attracted to these a yellow sponge, look yeah. like flower. You know, they're more attracted to color, look like flowers. So I put sponge on on the water, it floats, you know, so they can land on it. <laughs> they can drink from the sponge as well. <laughs> but I don't see them anymore. Maybe they just came to to say hello because I say there's no bees. <laughs> mm. It's often like that. When I say, how come there's nothing, then they come. The other day I also said, oh, it's a new place, how come no birds? And then the birds came. <laughs> <laughs> They came to visit, but then they left. Oh. I was thinking to feed them, but they are not uh, like permanently there. Maybe from somewhere else, they come visit. And chirping, chirping, singing around for a while and then go. Sometimes they come also to tell me something, but it's not their place. Yeah. They tell me things. Truly, animals can tell you things. <sighs> you know, many people read in the Bible or somewhere, all the Holy Scriptures say that the, the animals can communicate with you. Yeah? Ask the birds and they will tell you. Ask the fish and they will uh, indicate or instruct you. Ask the animals, huh? then they will help you. Truly like that. Nowadays, even worse, some people are so much influenced by demons. This is a time when the demons come and want to destroy the world. We have extended some years, of course, but this is still their time. <sighs> so even the top, top religious leader, I heard them say something truly more than nonsense, as if they all were made deaf, dumb and blind, you know, or top politicians, many of them as if they don't see anything. Everything they do or say is all illogical, all unreasonable, all very, very far from the truth, far from logic, far from reason, and far from the most common sense of all. <laughs> 